while the Israelites were still in bondage in the land of Egypt, God spoke to Moses and his brother Aaron, saying, You must speak to the entire community of Israel and say, On the tenth of the month, each household must take and slaughter a lamb without blemish. You must put some of the blood on the doorposts and the lentils of your houses. That night, the lamb is to be eaten, roasted over the fire. You must not have anything left over. Whatever is not eaten must be burned. You shall eat it standing up with your shoes on and with your staff in hand. This is the Passover in honor of the Lord. On that night, I am going to go through the whole land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn in the land, man and beast alike. The blood of the lamb will serve to mark the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and you will escape the destruction. Blessed are you. Blessed, Blessed are you. Blessed, Blessed are, are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who spared our ancestors in faith. The Lord also told the people, from now on, you are to celebrate this Passover as a feast in honor of the Lord. It is to be kept as a day of festival for all generations to come. You are to celebrate it forever. Blessed are you. Blessed, Blessed are, are you. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who has given us this feast. Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and told them everything that God had commanded him to say. When the Israelites heard the message, they bowed down and worshipped God. Then they hurried back to their homes and did all that God had commanded. And it came to pass that the angel of God struck down the firstborn of all the land of Egypt, man and beast alike. But when the angel found a house with blood on the lintel and doorpost, the angel passed over and spared those inside. Blessed be God. Blessed, blessed be God. Blessed be the God of compassion, and a blessed, blessed be God's holy name. Thank you. Each year, after the people of God celebrated this feast, parents explained its meaning to their children, and they, in turn, explained it to their children. Why? Is this night different than all the others? Why do we eat unleavened bread? Why do we eat bitter herbs? Why do we eat standing? We, we do, do these, these things, things to remember the Passover of the Lord. Once we were slaves in the land of Egypt, but the Lord rescued us on this holy night. That is why this night is forever special and different from all other nights. We eat unleavened bread because there was no time that night to let it rise. We eat bitter herbs to remind us of the bitterness of slavery. We eat standing up because our ancestors were ready to go that night without a moment's delay. For 1,300 years, our ancestors celebrated Passover. And at the end of that time, Jesus, God's anointed one, came to celebrate it on his last night with his friends. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God in Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be God, God in Jesus, Jesus the, the Anointed, anointed one. one. 